Welcome back to Soda City Live, everyone. A local nonprofit, South Carolina Operation Lifesaver, works to promote railroad safety education, and they're going to be launching the Columbia Cola Town Caboose in the Vista, Columbia's Vista, and we'll be kicking things off tonight with an event at a capital city brewery, Columbia Craft. Joining me today is the state coordinator for the South Carolina Operation Lifesaver, Janice Cohen. Yeah, Cowan. 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 Janice. Mm -hmm. But you're retired. <laughs> you spent, this organization itself has been around 50 some years. This is our 50th anniversary. And, and you have been there for 30, 32 years. Two years. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So you just retired. I did. But you're still the go going <laughs> at it. Obviously, you really believe in it. I'm volunteering until the end of the year, <laughs> until our new state coordinator takes over, which is actually my daughter, Bridget Cowan. So oh, it'll fantastic. stay in the family. It's uh, fantastic. It's, it's going to be fun. That's fantastic. All right. Talk about, first of all, what this Operation Lifesaver is for people who don't know. Sure. Well, we're, we are a nonprofit organization, and our goal is to educate the the public so that they keep themselves safe when they come up to a railroad track, whether they're in a car, on a bicycle, or on foot. Mm -hmm. So certainly down in the Vista area, we want to make sure that people know not to walk on those railroad tracks. It is trespassing. You cross only at a designated crossing. And of course, if you're in your car, you want to make sure you approach and follow the signs and signals and listen for that train and never try to beat the train if you see one or hear one You know one what, and I'm glad you mentioned that. And even though tonight's event is a fun event, the reality is we, we there is a very serious note to what you guys do on a daily basis in trying to educate the community. A lot of times, we you know, we cover stories where someone thought, he or she could beat the train. Absolutely. And the reality is, I guess you just can't measure how fast that train's coming. Well, and, and the magnitude of the train, we have a weight ratio we talk about in Operation Lifesaver of 4,000 to 1. That's the weight ratio of a car to a soda can. It's also the weight ratio of your average train to a car. And you know what happens when you roll over the soda can. That's right. the same kind of impact a train can have on a car. And we just don't want anybody, right. especially during the holiday season, sure. uh, to, to have to deal with And with that troubles. much weight coming towards you, they just cannot stop like we could in a car. That's as right. Fast. It, it takes a mile or more for your average train to stop. And they don't have a steering wheel, so they cannot swerve out of the way to avoid mm. anything that's on the, on the tracks in front of them. So, you know, the engineers don't want to right. do anything but do their jobs. They really want right. to get the products where they're going and we want to make sure that we're all safe. And the way you're making sure, in addition to all the education you guys have been doing for decades, is to hold a party like tonight where people can come for a fun event right. that helps a serious cause. Tell us about tonight. Well, we have a caboose down at the Amtrak station, which is at 850 Pulaski Street. We hope everybody runs by there. Um, we got that caboose about 20 years ago from McDonald's when they needed uh, to, to share it with us because of a road expansion. Uh -huh. And um, she looked a little faded and tired. We had our messages on it, but it, it was she was she needed a refresh. Yes. And so so we had a local um, muralist, um, Christine Crawford. Uh, we were able to get a grant, and she has painted a beautiful mural all the way around uh -huh. with our safety tips on it as well. And this is, what am I seeing here, the, the new painting? This is a time lapse, uh -huh. part of what, um, that's, that's the progress that she was making during right. the uh, mural. Just absolutely beautiful work that she did. She also worked with an artist out of Charleston, Allison uh, Donovan, that mm -hmm. was also helping her. Isn't that fantastic? So tonight we're kicking it off and we're going to be um, at Columbia Craft, which you can see the brewery from the caboose, so okay. it's appropriate to be there. Yes. And it's a night of giving. Um, if you come out, 10% of the proceeds from today will go to Operation Lifesaver so we can continue our efforts to share our railroad safety message. Excellent. So people who go and say, I want my kids to learn more, uh, I mean, and because kids are, I mean, adults too are so fascinated by trains anyway. Right. So do, do you guys do anything like in the schools where if people can go and speak to, if, if a class group says, hey, we'd love to have someone come speak to us? Absolutely. We have um, uh, Operation Lifesaver volunteers mm -hmm. uh, across the state who are eager to go and speak to any types of organization, not just children, professional drivers, uh, mm -hmm. bus drivers, community leaders. Uh, we are here to share our message with everyone because eventually, whether you have a lot of railroad tracks in your community or not, you're going to cross a railroad Absolutely. track. Absolutely. And you need to know how to do it safely and remember 
never try to beat that train. Yes, good, good advice. Well, let's give you the information on the screen. Again, the, the event is tonight at Columbia Craft Brewery. That's at 850 Pulaski Street. The 850 Pulaski Street is Amtrak. That's where Amtrak. the caboose is, but you can see the brewery just up From the street. From there. Yep. Okay, so go to the brewery. <laughs> Columbia Craft, right. Go to Columbia Craft. 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And again, as Janice mentioned, 10% of proceeds go to Operation Lifesaver. Go to our website for more information. And again, I'm just going to hold this up because yeah. this looks fabulous. And when you are, are in the Columbia area, this is certainly worth going by and seeing. And take a picture and post it and use the hashtag SaveYourCaboose. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's good. <laughs>